Um, can you give us a little bit of insight of what happened this last time? Uh, there are a lot of different reports going around. I better hear it from, from you. Well, uh, first of all, this is the first time that I've personally been involved in the fight. It's usually been our promoter, Ross Greenberg, a number of different times. Um, and I want to also secondly give credit to Floyd, who pleasantly surprised me uh, during our meetings one-on-one. -on -one. He's a, a, a good guy. Yeah. You know, he was professional. He showed me a lot of courtesy. We respected each other. We didn't agree on a lot of things. <laughs> um, but, you know, I mean, Floyd is just not ready to take the fight. The, the final offer that was on the table was a, and, and let me back up, I even had Manny on the phone, but the final offer was a $50 million guarantee. Um, we agreed to do the drug testing any day except the day of the fight. Um, and the revenue would be split 45-55 with the winner getting the 55. Floyd was determined just to pay Manny a flat fee. And as Manny had said in his own words, it's not really about money. Um, it's about respect and the impression that people are going to get. Hypothetically, if we were to take 30% and give Floyd the rest of it, then, and you got to remember, Manny's a politician, so his image is very important. Mm -hmm. People are going to think, oh, Manny says yes to everybody, and it's, and, 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 uh, it's easy to get what you want from him. So it, it's more about being fair and equal to each other than about the money. You know, we're a little surprised because I think um, Manny had said that he was willing to take less than 50%. I mean, do you think Floyd might have gone off of that and that's the reason why I think he, he I think he interpreted it the wrong way. When Manny made that statement, I wasn't there, uh, <laughs> but when Manny made that statement, I clarified it with him because people expect that Manny was going to ask for 60% and give 40 So that's what the gist of the statement was, um, that I would take less, meaning I'll take less than what I was thinking. Yeah. So that's why Manny himself told Floyd 50-50 would be fine. Um, so it was, it was just a, a statement that was misinterpreted. And to show that we were, that was the, interp the right interpretation, that's why Manny said, Mike, why don't we do this? Why don't we do a 45-55% split? Mm -hmm. And whoever wins gets it. And if Floyd wins, then again, I'm showing the fans, I took less than Floyd. Yeah. Do you see this fight happening? I mean, you've been part of one of the part of negotiations that's been tried twice before. What do you think it's going to take for, to get these guys well, in the Well, actually, ring? this is the fourth time that we tried to do the fight. But I, again, I'm very happy and I, I'm very thankful that Floyd gave us the opportunity to communicate directly with each other. <coughs> I think we've gone a lot farther than we ever have. We've formed somewhat of a relationship from my point of view. And I think the lines of communication are always going to be open now. <coughs> and. Um, we're willing and able to talk about it, but it's going to have to be up to Floyd to say, okay, we'll do it on the 45-55 or do it on a 50-50, whatever. And, you know, as Manny's advisor, what is that going to be still the next fight that you guys are going to be talking about as soon as this is over, uh, assuming he wins, or is there still other stuff on the table for him that you guys are looking at? No, and that's, you know, I already talked to Manny about that, and that's why when Floyd was out of the picture and Cotto was out of the picture, we have three opponents left. Manny was thinking about doing an immediate rematch with uh, Marquez. But, you know, I talked to some executives at HBO and some other financial people. They say a lot of times when you do immediate rematch, it's not so successful. Yeah. So we should put some time in there. So we took all of that into consideration. So my advice to Manny, and Manny chose Bradley, let's let Peterson, Lamont Peterson and Marquez fight, which they are on July 14th, I believe. And then we'll do the winner of that. If Floyd comes, great, we'll take Floyd. If Floyd doesn't come, we have an opponent for November. So we're not stressing out at all about this issue.